Welcome back to another torch review. I've got the Tiny Monster 20K. Uh, this was sent in via Nightcore. They sent quite a lot of stuff in. I'm just working through all the reviews gradually. This came out a while ago, so I'm a bit late with this, but it has turned up, so I'm going to give it a review, give you an idea of what to expect. On the reverse of the yellow card, you will see that they do have all of the Tiny Monster series shown there. Here's your user guide and your warranty card. In this small box, what Nightcore have is the wrist strap. It's sort of a thicker type versus the usual one. And they also have a type A to type C charging cable. The holster that they give you is quite a nice one, actually. I have to admit, it's one of the nicest ones that I've seen. It's a sort of a semi-hard holster and it has quite thick material all the way around. Very nicely made. You've got the belt loop and the Velcro on the back with the D-ring. There is a hole at the bottom which is usually for letting out things like water so it doesn't fill up and it's magnetic so that holds in place quite firmly it is quite strong it's just a nice all-round case it does feel very high quality but this is a fairly expensive torch by anyone's standards so it's the sort of thing you would expect you do have to put it head down though because you can see there the molding at the top that is for the bottom part of the torch you will see the yellow tab here which is telling you about unlocking the torch. I will cover that in detail with the UI which I normally do later on. And now we're on to the main torch. You can see this is pretty compact for the output that it has but it does have a bit of weight. Unsurprising we've got two 21700 batteries in there and evidently this is machined from a solid piece of aluminium and we've got quite a thick clip with this and you can take that off if you want to. You can see some of the information there when you do take that off. Nice comfort, it does make quite a difference, those grooves just helps you to get the fingers in position. There's a hole there for the wrist strap. We have a mode button on the side. Here's the mode selection switch and there are three positions on this. Evidently Nightcore have made the switch give a bit more resistance. I can't really help you on that because I haven't used the original release when it came out, but that's supposedly one of the improvements. And we have the tactical button, which is sort of a paddle switch. There's just one switch on that. It doesn't have two, but you can hit it either direction. Doesn't make any difference. So left or right handed. Onto the right hand side, that is your type C charging port. And you'll also see that they've put the information about unlocking that on there as well. The bezel on this is pretty low profile, does have a sort of gunmetal finish. We have 19 XPL2 LEDs and we have a smooth reflector in the middle. The beam shots later on will be quite interesting showing you what you can do with this particular torch. With the UI on the lockout with a padlock, that will flash five times just to let you know that it is locked. This has a sort of double lock mechanism. I will show you that now. So what you need to do is hold the mode button in when you are sliding it to the one or two position. If you slide it back over quickly to the lock, it won't lock, it has to be there for two seconds at least. In the daily mode, which is position one, it's a short press on and off on the power button, and then you use the mode button to cycle through the four power levels. With the switch into position two is a tactical mode and that is momentary. If you want to switch between the power levels, you just need to hold that in and then cycle through with the mode button. To hit the turbo, push and hold the tactical button in the middle or the paddle switch. If you want to set that to strobe, just touch the mode button whilst you are holding that in. And then you have special modes, floodlight and spotlight. To get to those, you just push and hold the mode button when it's on and it will cycle between those. Here's your battery voltage check. You also have a three level indicator when the torch is powered on. I think the UI is pretty good on this, quite easy to pick up, didn't take long to get used to it and you have plenty of switches and they're in good positions. I think quite easy to use overall. Onto the charging now, I have put the information on screen for you. You can charge this quick charge or normal charging. And if it's quick charge, it flashes quickly. If it's normal charging, it's a slower flashing. It also works with Type-C to Type-C cables. A lot of torches don't. 
So I just thought I'd put that in there. You can use those if you want to. I put the power levels on screen for you so you can have a quick look at that. Start off with the Unicorn, modest output on this torch. I've used this quite often with some of the beam shots. When I move over to the ultra low mode on the Nightcore, you can see it's not really that low, although it is a spotlight, just the middle LED working on that. Once you kick it up to just over a thousand lumens, a thousand and fifty, then you've got the outer LEDs working as well. Up to 1900, you can see it spreading out quite a bit. I've gone with a very wide angle lens for this. It's an ultra wide angle, just to give you an idea just how floody the light can be. And then when you go up to turbo, huge amount of illumination. It lasts between about five to seven seconds. If you keep hitting it, it does heat up quite quickly. And if you hit it within a couple of seconds, the turbo won't last very long at all. The floodlight and the spotlight, I think both of these modes could be quite useful. The spotlight gives you reasonably decent range just with the middle LED. The only drawback really with those is you can't adjust the power output on them. They're fixed at that particular power level. More beam shots coming up now, so have a look through those and I'll give you my summary at the end. My feelings with the TM20K, pretty similar to some of the other tiny monster torches that I've used. You do have a very short turbo, although it is an impressive output. I like the overall body and the design, but we're coming back to that problem again with the built-in batteries. And I really do wish that Nightcore would offer some way around that. To me, a reasonable compromise would be having a design which would accept a battery pack. Otherwise, the only option might be sending it back to Nightcore or having to do a DIY job because the cells will be soldered in place. Any thoughts on this particular model? Do drop a comment down below. Be interested to hear that. As usual, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one.